Hey folks, uh, Kyle Keel here um, with a squat session. This was done today, Thursday, and uh, you're going to see me do three sets. Um, set of five with 380, a uh, set of three with um, 430, and then a, uh, uh, a max set with around 95% of my current one rep max, which is um, 480, and you're going to see me do that for uh, a new PR double. Um, coming into today, uh, for whatever reason, I just do not feel fantastic. Um, I think we have a bug going around our house, and uh, it seems like Janice has been struck with it a lot worse than I have. She's carrying a fever right now, and uh, and is, is feeling all sorts of bad. And um, so I don't know what's going on, what we've got. Uh, I don't know if it's the flu. I don't know if it's pneumonia. We were around someone who had pneumonia. Um, in Rhode Island, so maybe that has been passed on. I don't know if I have it. I don't know if I'm just being a wimp, but, um, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but I just felt exhausted. Even after that set of 380, I felt tired. Even after wrapping my knees, uh, and, and standing up, I felt tired. I didn't want to do the sets, but, um, was able to, uh, to, uh, to power through that 380 and power through this 430 without too much difficulty. 430 didn't feel fantastic. Um, I really wanted to try for a PR triple with around 95%. I've been waiting for a few weeks to break through and just have a really fantastic squat session, and it hasn't happened just yet. But 480 for a double, considering how I felt, considering how the weight felt on each rep, was pretty good. I knew I wasn't getting a third rep, so I was fine with racking it. Um, I feel like in the past I've, r I've racked my weights a little prematurely, but um, this was definitely a two rep max for me. Um, First rep comes down, I come up, uh, I'm tilting a little bit to the side, but came up okay, it wasn't too bad, um, the speed honestly wasn't that bad for, for a 480 squat, and, uh, second rep I just knew I was done, just really slow through that sticking point, and slow to stand up, slow to pop out of it, so I knew it was done, um, I'm getting back to, uh, to doing something that I did earlier in training, um, I was doing this a few months ago, and I got away from doing it, and that's reverse bands off a low box in which I try to maintain a very vertical torso position and, um, and try to, uh, maintain as neutral a spine as possible, um, really engage my posterior chain, really engage my glutes, feel my glutes flexing off of the box as I come up, and, uh, trying not to lean forward, um, and get in the same sort of hunched over position that I get when I, uh, when I squat. Um, I'm a... I've become, uh, as of the last few months, uh, more and more of a believer in, uh, in doing, um, vertical torso position compound movements to add, um, volume to your, uh, to your squat training because, uh, um, I've come to realize through my own training that, um, lumbar fatigue is always going to, uh, to, to sort of slow me down first. So, as long as I can keep my lower back pretty happy, um, I can get in a lot of training volume on my squat. So, try to train around my lower back now more than, um, than I have in the past to, uh, to, again, accumulate volume, um, without really fatiguing my lumbar, and, uh, that's basically what I'm doing here. I did, uh, one set of three with 365, then I did three sets of three with 405. With the reverse bands, um, uh, it's maybe, uh, a hundred or so pounds at the bottom, maybe, um, uh, close to nothing at the top, because those bands stretch pretty low, but I'm probably getting a few pounds at the top. But anyway, just trying to do them really strict, trying to make the exercise very difficult, and just accumulate volume. I think, um, what I'm gonna do is on Tuesdays I'm gonna start running, uh, more high volume, uh, lower exertion work, um, with my, uh, with my reverse band squatting, and I'm gonna do them again off a low box, and I'm gonna do this to sort of offset the high volume deadlift I'm doing. Anyway, hopefully I'm feeling better soon. Uh, keep checking in. I almost died there. 